hello guys so in this part of the video i'll be showing you how to open your amazon kdp account but first of all you'll be needing these few things by now i believe you must have gotten a foreign account either through grade.co or a uh, gig pay which is either your euro account usd account that is dollar or pounds account number because we'll be needing it for this process so first of all go to your play store download i'm already downloading it this app amazon shopping amazon shopping or you can type amazon shopping app this is how it looks like download this app because you'll be needing it then you'll be also be needing your browser like your chrome browser all right if you've used your chrome browser before for kdp you can go ahead and download firefox or doc doc Co. but for this training i'll be using firefox browser which i'm downloading right now then another app you'll be needing is your google authenticator Google Authenticator. You'll be needing this app. And when you come here, you see different Google Authenticator. But we'll be using the one with rainbow light -like color. This one with rainbow light -like color that has star on it. Install it. This is the one we'll be needing. So we're going to wait for this to install while we start the process. Okay. All right. So now that we've downloaded all the apps that are needed. First thing we'll do is to go to shopping app. Once you get to your shopping app, just leave the way this thing is now. Leave it like this. Click on done. Are you already a customer? No. Uh, new to Amazon? No. So skip and, sorry, new to Amazon. I'm new to Amazon because this is a new account. So you click on create an account. So you are asked to put your first name and last name, mobile number or email, then create a password. Okay. So right here, we are going to use a, a first name and last name. I'm opening this account with a friend's name. So I'm using his name for this. Okay. Then mobile number or email. Please do not use your mobile number. Please do not use your mobile number. Make sure you use your email. I repeat do not use your mobile number so we'll be using his email the email okay then create password just create a password that you can always remember all right i think i can remember this i don't know yes create a password you can always remember then click on verify email So an OTP will be sent to that email, which will go and get that OTP and come back here to put it. Okay, it's already been sent. Let me just minimize. 521715. 521715. So create your Amazon account. Once you're done, it's going to bring you here. Next thing you do, click on this icon here that looks like human head or a human this place now. All right, yeah. Once you click on here, yeah, click you go to your account. This place they wrote your account. Click on it at the top. Click on your account. Scroll down. Go to login and security. Login and security. Then you see here they said two factor authenticator. Turn on two factor. Turn on. You see it. Two step verification. Add a layer of security. Require a code addition to your password. Turn on. So when you click on this turn on, you will see two options. Option one, to use phone number. Option two, use Google Authenticator. We don't want to use phone number. Because if you use phone number, Amazon will not approve you. They only give uh, even USF. You understand? So we are using Authenticator app, which is that app we downloaded. Coming here, you will see this key. Now, our authenticator app might not allow us to record. doesn't allow us to record. So this might not appear. So I'm going to use my voice to explain what you're going to do. Once you get this code, right? Copy this long code that is here. Copy this long code. Copy. We'll go to our authenticator app. I know that my own will not allow me to view it. Okay? But if you cannot see it, I will explain what you see. Once you come here, click on get started then log in with your email log in with your email 
you click on continue log in with your email continue when you get here the next stage you're going to see where they wrote add a code change a code or something but by the corner you will see a plus sign at the bottom at the bottom right you see a plus sign there click on that plus sign then you see scan a qr code or enter setup key click on enter a setup key once you click on it you see account name your key then it plays the road time base that one doesn't consign us what consign us is the one they wrote account name so that account name you can either use your name or you can just write amazon so that you can remember it okay then for the key that code we copied from shopping app that's what you just that will copy it. come here and paste it once you paste it you will see where the road add click on it click on add then it will now generate us a code that code usually expires take note of that you will see a blue line ticking close to that code it expires so make sure you copy the code fast before it expires so copy it i've gotten my code let me go back to the um this thing and i will paste it i've copied my otp i'll paste it please make sure not to delete that app you'll be needing it anytime amazon needs you to sign up once you get to this stage click um don't require otp for this browser got it turn on to step verification and we are done it is now set the next thing we need to do now is to now open a kdp account itself so for that we'll be going through our browser let's go to our browser to do that remember i said i'll be using firefox browser but you can use chrome if you've not used chrome before if you are new use chrome browser chrome is best okay so this next stage once you come to your browser you want to type kdp.amazon.com please take note of this kdp.amazon.com then we search so here you see join kdp sign in we've already opened an amazon account so we are just going to sign in okay we are just going to sign in and what will be required of us is just the what will be required of us is just our email and the password we use in opening this account okay that's what will be required of us All right email remember email not phone number Then sign in. So here yeah, they will tell you to put um, two-step verification. Remember, we have to go to our authenticator app. Once you go to your authenticator app, remember the code is always rotating um, in and out. The code is always rotating. So make sure you copy it when before it expires before it expires so let me copy the code and click on don't require otp so that they will not be asking me for otp all the time then you sign in Once you sign on, um, just agree. Now we've gotten access to our KDP account, but our account is not yet complete. So we want to update account information. See this place they wrote, your account information is incomplete. So we are going to click on it to update it. So you click update now to update your account information. So click on update now. Let's update it. So when you come here, leave everything at the top here. Come here. Business type in the click on individual. Date of birth. So let's put um let me just put any date of birth here. Mm. 
click that top here to search the the year you want to put for your data make sure it's your real date of birth you are using you know, i'm only making a sample video um september okay country region nigeria if you're nigeria click nigeria if you're ghana click Ni ghana click your country eh legal name Mm, address put your address uh, city state she acquire bomb then postal code for this postal code go to your browser and search for Postal code your location. For example, you are in okay. We are in. Um, I'm using Uyo right and uh, Uyo Uyo City. So we're going to search for postal code Uyo. Let me use my uh, another of my browser to do this thing so that I don't cancel what I'm doing here. You understand? So just come here, type postal code Uyo. If you are in Asaba, you put your your city. Anywhere your city is uh, here. So when you come here, you see different code. Just copy one. You see, it, it can be called postal code or zip code. So I've copied it. And I'll put the code here. Copy it, put the code. For the phone number. your phone number then click on save come down click on save success so here you are required to put your bank account add account your bank account so where is your bank what we requested for was a euro account number and euro is in united kingdom for those of you that requested dollar account it should be united states so i'm going to choose united kingdom because that's where my account number is then for the if you go to your foreign account you should have issued your account number right account holder name we'll put the account number holder's name okay under that place you will see they will also give you an iba number it's best for you to copy it out but because i wrote my mine out that's why I'm just putting um, in the code myself one by one. Like it's even stressful like this. Let me just copy. So if you saved it on your notepad or anywhere, the code there. BIC code is also known as Swift code. I repeat, the BIC code is also known as the Swift code. You will see it there. You copy it and put it. All right. Copy it then. Add. You are set up to receive payment for sales across all marketplace. Customers' transaction made in all marketplace across Amazon will be paid in euro. Sure, you've seen it. I've added it. Everything has been set up. We'll just come here, click on complete tax information. Now, we want to do our tax information. Save and continue. Now, doing this tax information, reason why we are doing it is so that because normally Amazon takes thirty percent of every sale, but I'm going to show you what you will do so that you see that thirty percent Amazon will not take it. If you make hundred dollar, they will pay you of complete hundred dollar. If you make two hundred dollar, they will pay you a complete two hundred dollar. So we want to remove that thirty percent withholding rate. So if you follow what I'm going to do in this video, you will be able to remove that thirty percent withholding rate. Are you a United States citizen? No. Click no. You're not a citizen. Are you acting as an intermediary agent or other person receiving payment? No. Full name. The name is already here, right? Country of citizenship is Nigeria. Let me search for my country. I'm a citizen of Nigeria, proudly. If you're from Ghana, you put Ghana, right? Let me search for my country. Country of citizenship nigeria 
this is how you set it but when you come to this permanent address please there's, what we are going to do is what will help us to get this benefit change the country to south africa yes i'm saying this change the country to south africa i know you'll be wondering ah changing south africa is because south africa they give them treaty benefits south africans have that benefit for not paying this tax thing so let's delete this whole um address line here and city even this state this zip code we we'll delete it so um let's go to our browser now and search for um south african address come for with your browser type south african south africa address all right you see where they wrote random address in south africa click on it okay you're just going to pick one address from any of these so let me just use this one that says here so street 18 diesel street 18 diesel street you come back you see where they wrote a uh, street address you paste 18 diesel street you can leave this address too not compulsory let's go and get our city cross kudaspog for city so you come here put your city so let's go and get our state province oh something has obstructed me oh, i have to start all over because they won't give me that address again so i'll get a new address let me just copy it once this is a new address i'm getting um city we need streets we need city and we need state province right my phone allows me to do this you all might not allow you so you'll be copying it one by one so let's go back address Eight sixty road. This one skip. City. Orlando, state, quarter zip code. Zip code. One eight six five. Before they remove it. One eight six five. That's the zip code. One eight six five. Okay. So mailing address same as permanent address i have a non-us team leave every other thing you have here don't click on that you have a us team. you don't have us team leave every other thing like this the way it is i have a non-us team okay then this place they wrote teen value you are going to put if, if it's your nin id card you have you can use put use your nin number if it's your voters card you can use your voters card number to do the team value for me i'm just going to use a random number here just for the sake of this video but please i will advise you use your id card or something i already opened an account so i don't have any number i'll use so then continue the selected country qualifies for treaty benefits you see what i'm saying confirm save and preview let's save and preview so just go through all of these things if you have time if you don't have time just copy this name here yeah. someone like me i already know what i did so i don't have time copy then scroll down scroll down scroll down click on i certify then this place it says signature type your full name that name i copied so i don't make mistake i paste it here leave the date everything like that submit form you see what they wrote your tax information has been received and successfully validated applicable withholding rates 0.0 percent we are done so we we'll just have to exit interview exit interview i done opening our kdp account just go back to your bookshelf click on bookshelf let's go back there so you see that place they said you should need to update is now updated so if you already know your way around it you can now go and create an account or if you are my if you're my student go ahead and start studying your course training okay so learn how you can publish your book